G'day, today we're going to have a look at the Piney Tokyo level of Rio de Janeiro. Let's have a look at what we're going to do in this one. We've got a couple of big mountains, no surprises here, the story checks out that it's Rio. Okay. So we're just going to build our arenas. Capacity of 600 citizens, provides income, bonus, each kind of area building provides specific bonuses to your city. Click on the sports field to open up its panel information. Wires, grandstand, lights, yep. Alright, so it's building up out. Let's make sure that this snap is on. Scoreboard. And lights. Okay. Let's feel like we're uh sound like we're getting a little bit more uh technical here. So they want houses on foundations, we want the landmarks, and we want hospital for 2,000 citizens, so... It sounds like what we're going to want to do first is just get some of these houses built. Let's just sort of get this and let's get as many as we can built. Okay, now... Uh, what we want to do then is get our jobs built for these guys. Just we'll just flip the camera around to have a better view on that. Oh, did I do my order incorrect there? Uh, let's. Him and that guy. Now, yeah, what, what do you want to make you happy? Just two stack right there. So we'll turn this up again. Put the two there. Okay, then we can build up to get that. Now, this building, we need to get its road to it to satisfy it. There we go. And all those guys are happy with their jobs and uh, we'll swap quick swapping between those cameras okay so then the other thing that these guys will want to be happy will be their emergency services which we can supply by just stacking them on top of this building oh. there we go hopefully that means all these guys will be happily paying Tax and increase in the, the population. 100% happiness as well for, for those guys, which is nice to see. Alright, we're up to 21. Now, little blocks. So, let's go back to, to Sky View there and see if we can just squeeze a few more in. Are these guys within the range of that? Just be up the hill a little bit. That's okay, let's um put school up here. Oh, gotta get used to this. Alright, camera. Um alright. 
those guys aren't still still aren't happy so what we'll do is we'll pull one of those houses down and instead we'll just put stack of office buildings right there discover a blueprint in the process uh, and we can stack him on top as well okay so that's 35 40 so um we can build just a couple more foundation stones as well and we may as well I'll do it around our um jobs and our hospitals and everything we've got those and we'll go back to our uh, houses and just stack them up great this be our uh, 40 houses okay now those guys are after some how the, the height of the might affect them but it's all right let's go over here see if they actually are in them cool. okay so then what we'll do is over here we will go another office building we don't have enough money it's definitely a first for us that guy yeah uh, and we'll continue to build okay cool so those guys have now got jobs as well so that covers everyone uh, in this area So what we can do is just sort of um, again get down and pat our uh, thing. I hope I'm not making anyone too nauseous with my erratic camera jumping. Okay, so let's go for classy apartment buildings. Right, of course, we're going to be affected by cost way here. I guess at this point we're just playing the waiting game. Um, now some of these slightly further away houses don't have uh, access to these amenities. So what we might try doing is see if we can get this guy built. Um, i adamant that I build him on top of him. Let's turn auto snap off. Beside him is what it wanted. Am I wrong? Oh, what's four of them? Okay, well, we won't be able to do that with the fire station there. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll just pick up the fire station and move him away. At the moment. And then we will say to these guys, all right, stop auto snapping into. So then what we'll do is we'll move him, move him out of the way, and then we'll pick up a fire station, put him on top, and then he's going to need one on that side and one on that side. Did I get to him in time? No. Stop pressing that. Okay. Fire station's on top. Not enough money to move the police station. What does it cost to move the police station? Okay, so now with that move, hopefully it means that, yeah, you can see the, the radius of these guys is a lot more. All of these guys are going to be happier, so 
Uh, that taxation should go up a bit. Uh, I guess there's not too much to do. But wait for wait for money to come in. I'm not sure if I can speed up the game or anything. Luckily the taxes do flow in um, pretty quick. I could take a loan as well. Um, firstly, let's get this guy going. Yeah, that's four classy houses he wants on top. Let's look into to taking a loan here. Loan interest is 50. I mean, I can cope with that sort of... impact of when I turn off a snap. Okay, so then let's move this up here. Uh, and we will... 50 jobs, 100 jobs. Let's go for this one. to get these guys working so that they um do we make money off them net income has gone up a bit again We will a fire station, hospital, and a police station across the road. Let's put the money for the police station because what that will do is let's see, just massively jump the tax this guy's paying. And we'll continue to, to grow him once we've got a bit more money. Speed up the process. Okay, let's have a look and see what sort of taxation we can get from him. Great, so you can see that that's going to be a huge impact on that. Tax. Don't know why he closed on me there. I mean, that loan doesn't really feel like there's going to be too much consequence if I just keep taking money out and that loaning. I mean, that's that's my maximum loan that I can have there anyway. Hopefully that not too much longer. Um, you just have enough money to, to take care of this. So what we will do is we are now up to 1,400 citizens. So we'll build a second... Classy big joint. Go overhead to better chance of building that correctly. Up top. Go one, two, one, two. Money boost. Again, that should bolster our, uh, our taxation. So what we will do is we'll just give it a few seconds to wait for that to hit and then we'll just repay the full loan. Now you're getting 116 or so people from these, but I think more importantly what we're getting from them is good money 
Uh, and that's what we sort of need at this point. Because, um... Once we've got that good money, then we, can, we don't have to wait around spending. We can actually just sort of spend the jump. Okay. One kind of fun thing in this game, I think, is building up. Um, keep sort of jumping behind to be able to see those builds. Because sort of like your, your hospitals and everything are just going to be stacked so close, it does seem like logically the way you want to approach a lot of these is if you've just got a flat top, great, just build on top of it. That's 1700. Now we can fit 20 people into these, so it does feel like. We just do a, a quick little, oh, maybe not there, build him on top of the fire station. Let's get a, build you there, no, apparently not there. Apparently not there either. Sort of ones that have flat roofs as well will take advantage of that. Oh, not too much advantage. There's obviously a bit more of a hill there than I'm, um, than I'm giving this credit for. Just trying to build on top of that one up there. Okay, that is really close. It's 1968. So let's try just a couple more houses. Great. That's our 200 cover. So now all we need to do is just get our uh, famous things built. So we'll cross the Redeemer on the top of the hill. This guy in over there, and our cathedral can be this way. Done. Yeah. All right. So they're starting to actually bring the money into it as a as a factor. It's, it's quite good. I got out of there just in time before my uh, that that tower of mine started collapsing. There we go. Till next time, I'll um I'll catch you later. See ya.